If you're feeling like you're inadequate and you have all of these big goals and dreams and stuff that just seems to keep popping into your head and you don't understand why because there's no way little old you can, can can ever ever accomplish such a thing exodus chapter four start at um verse 10 but i'll be on it always always Hey battle phase welcome back to another weekly vlog it's me andrea and your girl is in a car heading to the gym i try my hardest like earlier before i left the house i was laying on a couch for like an hour and a half two hours trying my hardest to just take a nap but i kept like getting up in that time laying back down thinking too much then i'm uncomfortable y'all it was the most it was quiet time in my house and i could not figure out how to like just put my body at peace so i can take a nap Obviously, Amia wasn't taking a nap. She usually just goes in her room and do her thing for quiet time. Darion is the same way. Trey's knocked out on a couch, and I'm over here like, I so desperately want a nap. Like, I know my body needs a nap, but I can't get myself to take a nap. I can't. Part of it is probably guilt for not going to the gym this morning because, y'all, it is day two. It's day two of 75 soft. Yesterday, I think I did pretty good yesterday. Not as good as I could have done because again, the goal is to start waking up at five o'clock, be out of the house no later than 5.30, you know what I'm saying? But I ended up snoozing my alarm, got up at 5.30, I was still able to make it to the gym. I made it through all my workouts. I kind of set my pride aside and ended up going way, I had to go way down in my weights because again, y'all, I haven't been in a gym in over two months. In over two months, that <laughs> that's a long time. So obviously I, I didn't realize how significant I was gonna be going down in weight, but it's a significant drop. For example, when I'm doing the leg extensions, I was up to like 120 pounds on the machine doing the leg extensions and y'all, I had to drop back down to 70. But anyway, I was telling y'all about me getting up, going to the gym. But yeah, so I'm laying there on the on the couch, right? And I just couldn't go to sleep. And I'm just driving myself crazy. Because y'all, I have a lot going on right now. There's a lot of things not going the way it's supposed to be going. And it's stressing me out. And it's giving me a little bit of fear and anxiety. So I just could not relax. I couldn't. I couldn't. So I set up. I'm like rubbing Trey's head because he's low key still knocked out. And I'm like, I'm gonna go to the gym. He's like, What? I'm like, I'm gonna go to the gym. Is that fine? Like, you got the kids? I'm gonna go to the gym. He's like, Yeah, go ahead. Put your phone on the charger, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Y'all, my man is my rock. He is so supportive in everything that I do. He does have a sleep study later on tonight. So that's why I'm like low key trying to rush to the gym, rush to the grocery store, and then rush back home. I'm gonna make something nice simple and easy so he can actually have something to eat before he goes to the sleep study place oh how far do you have to drive for that i didn't even think about that but i'm rushing to the gym y'all i could just burn my mouth right now but we're gonna chat a little bit later let's go ahead and get to the gym i want to listen to some music i gotta pump myself up <laughs> Sense. Yeah, I just finished in the gym. <laughs> Woo! That was the quickest workout session I've ever had. I finished. <clears throat> I finished in under an hour, and when I say I'm so lightheaded, <clears throat> I'm so lightheaded because I finished with a mile and a half on the treadmill. The time wasn't good. The point is, I did it. <clears throat> And I didn't get to record. Whew. Hold on, y'all. Trying to get my life together because I got to rush off to this grocery store. But I didn't get to record because there's so many freaking people. There's so many people 
in the gym right now. Oh my gosh, wait a second, let me think. I'm about to go to the commissary. Is my car started? Oh. <sighs> let me just calm down for a second. I'm about to go to the commissary. I have to grab some jasmine rice, chicken breast, and I think that's it. Anyway, let your girl slow down because I'm over here speeding. I feel like I'm still zooming from this freaking albuterol. But I'm trying to hurry up and go to the store and get this stuff because it's going to be another 30 ish minute back ride back home because I completely forgot, y'all. I'm retired, okay? So I keep forgetting that going back towards my house anytime after six o'clock, good luck. You're gonna be sitting in traffic for an hour. So now I'm trying to hurry up and rush to the commissary, zoom through this store and get the stuff that I need, and then try to hop in this traffic back home. Because one thing, my man gonna eat some food. If I have to order something and take it to him, so let me let me just let me just hurry up. Let me just hurry up. Gotta do my motherly and wifely duties over here. <laughs> It's so much time later. Dinner is done. I just finished cleaning. What did I say? Dinner's done. I just finished cleaning the kitchen a little bit. I'm about to go ahead and head upstairs. I was watching a little bit of TV, but I don't know what my problem is. Like I know I'm I'm trying to do some. Oh shoot! I forgot to put me a scarf on. I need to. I heard some freaking bonnets. She had bonnets. Why are all these windows open? Hold on, y'all. She had bonnets, but um, yeah, the string on all of them is broken. So I've been experimenting with doing her hair. And if you know me, you know I do not know how to do hair. So it's definitely been a struggle. And knowing my daughter, her hair is very... Is that this? That's weird. What is this? Anywho, where'd that scarf go? Y'all, <laughs> my bad. I heard the dishes and stuff being moved around. Okay, I don't know what that was. Anyway, Mia's hair is very, very coarse, very, very curly, and her curls are really tight. So I've been struggling doing her hair, and then I feel like it's gonna be a situation where keeping a style on her hair is gonna be extra. Say good night. Hold on. Come here. Let me put the scarf on your head. Okay. I'm learning all the secrets of Brookhaven. Mm -hmm. I'm learning a lot of secrets of Brookhaven. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. When is he going to be back? In the morning. In the morning? Mm -hmm. he's gonna, when, when, where is he going to spend the night? At the doctor. How's he going to sleep? With a lot of things on his head. All right, it should be good enough. All right. Night. Good night. She asked about Trey. He got his sleep study tonight. Okay. Anyway, let me get myself situated because you know what? Let me 
me get in the shower first. We'll talk after I get out of the shower. Are inadequacy and just feeling unworthy and it's just been on me heavy today and I don't know why I've been positive all day despite that but it's just still just hanging so heavy and I just don't understand why so okay let's talk it through that what have you accomplished this far to just have a faith and being consistent and determined on making something better of yourself and making a better life for your children Every let every man examine himself. Please check yourself. Look at yourself. What are you doing in any aspect of your life? Your 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 marriage or your children or with your job, any family, you know, just your health, your mindset, everything you have to everything should have that that principle to it. If you are self evaluating yourself at all times. Right. All right, y'all, I'm back. And let me tell y'all something. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cry in the shower. One thing for sure I'm going to do when I get in the shower, especially when I'm feeling away, I'm going to cry. I'm, I'm, I'm going to cry in there and let my tears roll down the drain. <laughs> Hold on, because I feel, mm, I feel, I feel like I got a burp, but it's not coming out. And I'm freezing and I'm thirsty. So let me grab my robe. Hold on. I got out the shower like at this point almost an hour ago. Oh, I just pulled my hair. Almost an hour ago. I've been talking to my mom forever. But now I gotta hurry up and rush to do my skincare and stuff like that so I can lay it down. And I'm kind of irritated with myself because I didn't put the um I didn't put the comforter, the the duvet. The duvet. I didn't put the duvet cover on the duvet insert yet. I know Trey mentioned that he was trying to hurry up and, you know, make everything comfortable before he left tonight. Because, again, he's at his sleep study. And I told him, like, oh, no, I noticed. But I got it. It's fine. But, y'all, honestly, I might just sleep under our little throw since I'm small. And it's a comforter to me. Anyway, a few things. Because... I did not realize that I had lost again an entire vlog. And I wait a second. Because this hair, this freaking hair, the way I almost just lost my mind because because I, I thought it was a spider. I thought it was a house up. Anyway, 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 anyway. Just quick little chit chat while I do some skincare. So I lost another vlog, y'all. I lost another vlog, and I'm I realized what I've been doing wrong, what's causing me to lose these vlogs, and it is reformatting my SD card. Don't know why I didn't realize it, but when you reformat an SD card, it gets rid of um, like everything, like it completely wipes it out and refresh it and stuff like that. 
and so the vlog that i ended up and i feel like i probably mentioned that i lost footage or whatever it was a super quick vlog it probably was going to be all of like 10 15 minutes but it was just me taking you guys along with me to take the cse yet again and so i went to take the cse um and this was on a first so this was almost a month ago at this point because again it's about to be august now but i took the cse again y'all and i did not pass like i failed again and i failed by just a little bit and it was super discouraging and i just didn't understand like it's something that i'm doing wrong on this test there's a part of the material that i'm not understanding and obviously with the type of test that i'm taking they're not going to give you any feedback so it's my responsibility to just study over the parts that i feel like i'm just not catching on the issue with me is i don't know what that is so I've been down on myself and there's a lot of this not a lot let me not drag it but there's a few other things that I that's been happening or that I've been noticing that's just been making me feel unworthy inadequate and just not capable looking at my to-do list I not my to-do list my goals list the things that I wanted to have done within the year of 2024 I barely checked off 40% of my list and I just feel like what what's happening what is it about me or what is going on that these goals and stuff and the person that I see myself being the places that I see myself in I'm not talking about like vacations and stuff like that I'm talking about financially um physically education wise job wise like all of these different things that would lead to emotional and mental and, and, and physical stability and stuff like that. Why am I not reaching these goals? And it got to the point and it's getting to the, it's still, it's getting to the point where I feel like, am I just not good enough? Like, is this not meant for me? Like, was I mistaken a vision? Like, what is it? And so, yeah, I had to go. I had to go and cry it out because I'm just, I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated and I'm back in another season of where everything is kind of elevated. Everything is up in the air. So that means I'm back in another waiting season. And I hate waiting seasons because it's like, I don't know. You just have to be still. And I haven't been good at being still. I haven't been good at being still. And so, I don't know. I had to figure it out. I ended up, I'm not watching my face. Let me do this. Hold on real quick. Actually, I can brush my teeth. Yeah, I'm doing all this talking. Let me brush my teeth real quick. Okay, so now I can start washing my face. I already showed y'all this, but start off with moisten my face a little bit this is the face wash i'm using so let me get started anyway so again i was in the shower crying and i was having a little moment with god and i was just honestly just asking for some type of peace of mind because these days i just been feeling so inadequate and i feel like there's a lot of stuff that i've been accomplishing there's a lot of good that I've done for myself and so far everything that I've been called to do everything that I've had the desire to do I've been doing it so how is it that with all the things that I've doing of all the things that I've done all the things that I'm accomplishing I'm still feeling so inadequate I still feel like I'm not good enough and I'm not talking about just like with acad there's certain things that happens that makes me like I said the checklist not passing the CSC for the second time and again I deleted the video on accident but I explained to y'all in that video that I only have one more chance and then I'm gonna have to take a 120 day hiatus before I can retake it because you can only take it three times in a row but the fact that I'm failing this test by just a little bit makes no sense and every single time I go online and I'm looking for like the respiratory therapy jobs and stuff like that because again I want a PRN position while I'm in nursing school 
And I see so many good opportunities that I can't take advantage of because I'm not a registered respiratory therapist. I am a certified respiratory therapist. It just makes me feel even worse. It makes me feel even worse. So I don't understand it. I'll be looking at all the YouTube videos and stuff like that of the people that pass. And I'm like, how are y'all talking about this so casually and just passing on a first time and blah, blah, blah. It's just so difficult, right? So, um, this way of thinking even leaks over into like my my outlook on the future like am i going to be a good enough mom am i going to be a good enough wife i'm under so much pressure and so far it seems like i'm holding it together but in a long run you can only operate like this for so long so this little trial period that i'm in this test this this waiting period that I'm in how long is it going to last and do I have what it takes to endure it, if to, to make it through it if that you know if I'm making any sense and one thing about it one thing I'm gonna do when I didn't ask God some questions and I still feel like I'm lost I'm gonna call my mom I'm gonna call my mom a fair thing I called my mom and I was talking to her a little bit and when I say those hour, those those conversations, when I be like, all right, this is gonna be real quick. No, it'd be like over an hour conversations with her every time I talk to her. But one thing she's gonna do is she's going to open my eyes, one to the word, one to God's will, and one to the strength that I do have within myself. And it just does me so much good. It does me so much good. I always get off the phone with her feeling so motivated and I just, I appreciate that so much but let me go ahead and wash this off my face real quick so I can go ahead and get into these serums oh, look at that fresh face so nice and so clean hopefully I'm pretty sure I still have like some white specks laying around I need to get some actual wipes to wipe my face because I use these paper towels the little fabric filling paper towels and they just they believe in like little white things behind anyway but this freaking face wash that i've been using i'm just loving so much it just makes my face it makes my face look and feel so much fresher than when i just use clear seal wipes don't get me wrong these things they still do what they're supposed to do but definitely like using the actual soap and water <laughs> to cleanse my face anyway um i want to revisit real quick just again when it comes to my feelings of inadequacy just to kind of i guess clarify a little bit more for example um there's certain that like my educational goals and stuff like that i really want to try my hand at crna but there's certain for whatever reason oh, that's trey still texting me if you don't go to sleep i want to try my hand at crna school and i don't know if it's because i I want so bad like I have this burning passion something is telling me that I am going to be CRNA I see myself as a CRNA right but you get on the internet and you read certain stuff and they're like oh CNA, CRNA school is really hard and then in my head I'm like dang do I really have what it takes I mean respiratory therapy school and nursing school was hard like do I really have what it takes to go through such a hard school like that and I don't even know what hard they're talking about because I've never been through it yet I am already kind of counting myself out as not being smart enough you know um when it comes to actually being in a being in that work environment because the thing is I can actually like sometimes I'll have dreams and I'll see myself sitting in school being successful as an SRNA and I will see myself working and I see myself, you know, successful as a CRNA in the city that I want to live in because for whatever reason, something's calling me to Houston. I don't know what it is. But again, in my head, I would see these things and I would get so excited and I'm like, yes, I can do this. This is what I'm go this is what I'm going for. This is my goal. But then all of a sudden, oh dang, but the school's gonna be too hard. Like, do I actually have what it takes? It's so competitive. Like, why would I even think that I would get accepted? All of 
please other people? Then do I have the time? Dang, I mean, I have kids, I have a husband. Like, do I actually have time for this? It's just so many thoughts that go in my head and then I start thinking about everything else. What makes you think you can do this? Because remember that time you failed that test when you were in respiratory therapy school? Didn't you almost fell out? Or didn't you literally have to appeal to stay in the nursing program? Because remember when you failed that test twice? Yeah. Didn't you just fail the CSE twice? And didn't it take you three times to even get the high cut on the TMC? Like, there's so <laughs> I be counting myself out so heavy y'all and I really need to stop doing that and so today for whatever reason the spirit of inadequacy was just on me so heavy and no matter how positive I was trying to be today I just felt it like I'm not going to be good enough like I'm not going to be good enough I feel like a fraud I feel like an imposter I feel like I'm just wearing some type of costume and I'm going to they're going to see they're going to see that I'm not good enough I feel like I'm an imposter somewhere i have no business being meaning being in the position i'm a mother i'm a wife i'm a nurse i'm an rt doing all of these things i feel like i'm an imposter and i, I was holding it together for so long but now the pieces are starting to crack and they're going to see once everything falls down they're going to be like ha you don't belong here you were never good enough to be here i can't really explain <laughs> that's the best i can explain it um so yeah i had to definitely call my mom and kind of get a sense of you know ground myself a little bit because that's what she's here for and she definitely did that and not only that y'all i had to break open i had to bust open hold on i had to bust open the bible just to read a little bit more and i'm gonna tell y'all this right now if you are feeling inadequate or if you're feeling worthless if you're not feeling good enough y'all need to crack open your bible and read exodus chapter 4 verse 10 start there i'm reading through the whole chapter right now and i'm gonna go ahead and finish that before i go to bed but when i say if you're feeling like you're inadequate and you have all of these big goals and dreams and stuff that just seems to keep popping into your head and you don't understand why because there's no way little old you can 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 ever ever accomplish such a thing exodus chapter four start at um verse 10. if you're familiar with moses you know he is the one that was called on by god to um deliver the hebrews from egypt they were enslaved for many, 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 many years. So just imagine some random person coming up to an entire village, an entire town, an entire this of people. And they're just like, hey, we gotta go because I was told, I got, I got a vision. I got, somebody told me that we gotta go. So let's, let's go ahead and go. Just imagine. Cause when you think about some of the people in the Bible that was doing all of these amazing things, it's easy to just be like, oh, dang, that they're just so like disciplined. They're so fearless. They're so loyal. They're so trusting because they just, God just said, do this. And then they just run off and do it. It wasn't that, it wasn't that at all. Especially when it comes to Moses, because it, hold on y'all. Cause let me, hold on. Cause I gotta read y'all this. Cause you would think that Moses was so fearless. God asked him to do this thing and he just went and did it. He no questions asked, right? Hold on, I gotta set y'all up. But at the end of the day, Moses is human. He's a flesh just like me, just like you. And so when when God came to Moses and he's asking him, based, not even asking him, basically telling him like, hey, I need you to be the one to deliver your people from Egypt. And obviously, with him being just one person up against all of these different people. And mind you, the Hebrews were enslaved for years. Like years and years they were enslaved. And so leaving the place that you've known your entire life, I'm talking generations grew up where they are enslaved. So this is the only place that you know and you're telling me that I have to leave. I think not, I'm gonna go ahead and stay here. So even though God had gave Moses all of these instructions like all right cool this is what i need you to do moses was like okay hold up wait 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 a second because um are you sure are are you are you sure you got the right person like are you sure are you sure like is it me are, am i really the person to do this are you sure you want to ask me to do this i was reading and 
um i gotta finish this chapter but um i got this part highlighted here right okay so when god was asking moses to do all of these things moses was like okay hold on now and moses said unto the lord oh my lord i am not eloquent neither heretofore nor since hast thou spoken until the servant but i am slow of speech in in a slow tongue meaning he's like all right you're asking me to do all of these things but i've never been eloquent i've never been before and i never will be so what exactly am i supposed to say to these people to get them to want to leave and how in the world do i say it and the lord said unto him who has made man's mouth or who have maketh the dumb, or the deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Meaning, who made the man's mouth? Who made men hearing? And who made them deaf? Who made them able to see or made them blind? Was that not me? Was I not the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. So, he goes, how, did I not do all of these things to men? So go ahead and go and do what it is that I'm asking you to do. And I will be right there with you. And I will tell you what to say. And I will tell you how to say it. Just go do it. I felt like that that verse, well, those, those verses specifically are very important. Especially giving the way, hold on, let me say, let me say this big down. Especially given the way that I'm feeling because here's my thing a lot of times we get these visions a lot of times we have these dreams a lot of time we have these urges to want to do something and it's hard to understand where it's coming from for example me in my ventures to be CRNA let me finish my freaking skincare like me and my ventures into wanting to be a CRNA cool is that something that I Hold on, y'all. Is that something that I'm really wanting to like? Is this burning passion actually mine, or is this the vision that God has given me? Is this the direction that He's calling me in? And it gets to the point where it's hard to distinguish, but you just have to have faith and you just have to go with that gut feeling because at the end of the day, if He's giving you a vision, if He's giving you these dreams, if this is this is Him showing you what your calling is. And if that's your calling and you're going for it and you feel like there's no way, what in the world did I? <laughs> Wait a second, what? Why is my face looking like that? Y'all, I don't know what is going on here right now. What is happening? Okay, anyway. But if it is your calling and this is what God has called you to do and you just don't understand why you have these feelings or if this is even something that you want to do and you're not sure yet you keep getting this calling that you're, you're keep getting these visions that mean that is your calling and God is going to find he's going to show you exactly what you're supposed to do. You may not understand it right now. You may not even understand how you're going to get there or how you're going to make this happen but just start stepping in that direction and he's going to be right there with you and he's going to show you exactly what it is that you're supposed to do he's going to give you exactly what it is that you need to get this done because no way god is not going to sit there and be like all right you see that right there i need you to go over there and i need you to do that and not give you any type of direction any type of way any type of help nothing at all that's not very fatherly and we are children of god he is a fatherly god and he's never going to just leave us high and dry like that and i i genuinely believe that with my whole entire heart and i do not i cannot express to y'all how much peace that actually brings me <laughs> it's so late but um but yeah so that's just the verse that I've been digging into as of today because I just really I needed some type of encouragement honestly y'all I don't know why my face was doing that just now but I hope this helps somebody if not is there for you to just listen to I said this before walking by faith is one of the scariest things that you can do and I still find myself questioning on whether or not being scared is 
wrong because a lot of people always say oh no if you trust in god you wouldn't be scared so am i not trusting in god enough am i not trusting in god the right way because i'm still terrified i still I'm, I'm still faithful i still i trust him but it's kind of like it's kind of like a trust fault thing if, if that makes any sense i don't even think that's a good analogy but i don't know it's just how i've been feeling so yeah am i done with my skincare like this was the worst <laughs> skincare session i don't know uh, you know what i think i just put it on it like i don't know because it was weird how it was just dry here and here Oh yeah, I have to put on this. Anyway, so yeah, I'm about to go ahead and um, finish. And the freaking serum ended up getting to my eye, but I'm about to go ahead and finish the skincare real quick. This one's almost gone. I just wasted this on. I'm about to finish the skincare, get settled into bed real quick. I'm trying to think, cause I'm low key kind of hungry. But I should not be eating this late. But I'm gonna eat something anyway. I really do need some food in my life right now. Do I, ooh, no, I don't have strawberries. I don't even know what I wanna eat now, but I'm all done with my skincare. I'm gonna go ahead and go find a snack and go to bed. It's kinda late, but I will be getting up in the morning. I will, I am going to get up in the morning. I'm going to take my butt to the gym and go about my merry little way. So, see y'all in the morning. God, you call me by my name The love you give me, I just can't deny No longer blinded, I can see I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awake me from death God, I need you I'm more walking by the flesh, that's when I leave God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone, No, I'm a child of God I wanna go to Godly way, close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I wanna go to Godly way Close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I know you know me well I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here I cancel plans with you to be with sin and break your heart Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are I wonder if you'll leave for me God, just tell me what you need for me is the Holy Spirit still in me? God, I'm asking you for clarity Even though you told me already God told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm, told me I'm 
told me I'm someone. Told me I'm someone. Know that I'm someone. No, I'm a child of God. so loud all right y'all so i just completed my wednesday's workouts and not too bad not too bad i swear i be thinking i'm gonna show up early because nobody is going to really be here right everybody comes early everybody comes early everybody comes late blah 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 so i just i've learned to just record despite of it all <laughs> I really need to go get some gas. So I think that's what, mm, is that what I wanna do right now? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I could. We gonna go get some gas. But yeah, I just left the gym, obviously, because my car said so. We're about to go get some gas real quick. But before we do that, what am I in here looking for? What's it this? Um, oh, I gotta put my headphones away. But before we do that, I'm about to stop by Chick-fil-A because it's right there, because I want some yeast rolls with honey butter if you know you know so y'all okay so i have the airpod pro maxes right love them don't get me wrong i love them but the earpiece i ended up buying the covers for it because the earpiece y'all one thing these things gonna do is hold on to sweat so i got the earpieces which it helps a lot but i hate how they just slide out of place all the time so if anybody have any better covers for these, let me know. Cause yeah, I don't like how they slide out of place. And then with the with the cover, I feel like there's more like traction. There's more grip so they don't like fall off or slip all over the place. But um, yeah, I'm about to go and get some hun some yeast rolls with some honey butter from um Chick-fil-A real quick. And that's probably gonna be the only thing. Let me put y'all on this tripod. That's probably gonna be the only thing I eat. I hate when there's rain all over my cameras. It's probably gonna be what I'm eating for breakfast this morning, cause these days, especially when I leave the gym, I don't be all that hungry. So yeah, yeah. And I don't care what nobody say. I'm gonna eat them yeast rolls and honey butter. Cause they are so good, especially when they do them right and they actually have the extra honey butter and they be all nice and soft and they just, Mm, they just melt in your mouth goodness they be so good they be so good i don't think there's much that i have to do for the rest of the day obviously i'm about to go home shower um i think trey has finally made it home from his sleep study so i'm pretty sure he already let you skate out and stuff like that so i'm not gonna worry about that that way i can just go ahead shower and start breakfast but i don't think there's much more i have to do today um if darion's paper come for his birth certificate i'm gonna obviously have to run off to ups and get all this stuff notarized do all the things also have to stop at target and get a new planner because I, I i explained it a little bit like the whole entire schedule for the nursing program that i'm in is changing and yeah instead of having to go on campus every monday sometimes twice a week when it's supposed to be a hybrid they changed it where we are going to campus on a very minimum basis so for the entire semester i think it's like five or six times we have to go onto campus so i'm excited about that good morning thank good. you for choosing to may i get a name for your order andrea i don't know it's smelling promising Let's, oh yes yes <laughs> Oh, look it. Hold on. Wait a second. Don't drop him. Look at him. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. See? Mm. I'll show you. Mm, mm, mm. 
Hey y'all, what's up? It is so much time later. It's way later. It is 17.32 and I'm in front of Applebee's. I just ordered some food from Applebee's and I'm just waiting for it to get ready, y'all. I just finished doing a lot of running around and I still did not finish doing all the things that I needed to do because I obviously left the house way too late. I took a long nap and yeah, I got up too late. So like the post office ended up closing. Nobody was at work. Like there was, <laughs> so I'm gonna try it again tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday, the week is almost over and low key, I cannot wait for the week to be over because I don't like getting up at five o'clock in the morning. I don't like getting up at five o'clock in the morning to go to the gym, I won't lie. Maybe my body get used to it at some point, but as of right now, it's not and I'm tired. Obviously, I'm tired. I just ordered food from Applebee's. I do not even feel like cooking bre breakfast. See, I'm tired. I don't even feel like cooking dinner. I'm just tired. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else left to do today. Um, I did want to call my school today to kind of see when or how early I'm able to go up and pick up my books and stuff. Didn't even get around to that because they're still on summer hours. Um, which means they closed at 12. Bookstore? Yeah, the bookstore closed at 12. So, yeah, I didn't get around to calling them. And it's just the most. I just want to give y'all an update. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like today was a waste, but I feel like I didn't get much done, but I didn't have anything to do. And I feel like when I don't have anything to do, I'm looking for something. Like, I there's no way I don't have anything to do today. Like, so yeah, I just feel, I don't know, I feel weird. I feel like I'm forgetting. I know I'm not though, I know I'm not. I feel like I'm forgetting to do something because I'm usually so busy. I don't know. I am about to go and sit and watch Young Sheldon when I get home though, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll probably just pick this up tomorrow. And we're going to finish out the week together. Hold on, y'all, because this sun right now is doing it for me. It's doing its thing. <laughs> anyway, um, Cloud is a hater. But yeah, I'm going to pick y'all back up a little bit later, probably tomorrow. Um, and we'll go from there. Hey, y'all, what's up? It's Thursday. It's pretty early. It is 8.09 in the morning. And yeah i didn't go to the gym this morning i didn't go to the gym i wanted to i really did i tried my hardest to get up but i won't lie my stomach was killing me it was hurting so bad my stomach was hurting so bad and then i woke up this morning and found out why because my period started this morning so um ugh, i gotta cut my nails uh I keep getting caught like i have like all these breakaway nails but um yeah my stomach was hurting so bad this morning my alarm went off i snoozed it i'm like okay maybe i'll feel a little bit better then i ended up snoozing it again and then i took a pain pill and i'm like okay i'm just waiting another hour no none of that so i woke up this morning and boom just the absolute mess that's probably tmi but i don't care uh just the absolute mess and i'm like yeah i'm not going anywhere because obviously i'm about to be hurting all day and i don't need to be doing anything to make it worse hopefully later on dang hopefully later on it kind of calms down a little bit and i'll just do some abs or something like that in the garage but other than that i'm just i'm just not gonna go today and i don't know if y'all can see or not but it's also very 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 gloomy outside it's been raining a lot here in Fayetteville here in Cameron it's been raining so much and not just raining it's been pouring down storming it's just crazy so it just really been kind of like those you know those low days where you want to like have the lights down low in the house just quiet cozy you know it's been those kind of days so today is going to be one of those days i'm outside because one i have to go to walmart grab some tampons um grab i i don't think there's anything else i need to grab let me not be extra but i do need to grab some tampons and then i need to go to the post office so i can finally drop off this paperwork for darion so i can get his birth certificate welcome back will you be using the murder ward app no thank you order when you're ready i'm just going to take two hash browns and a medium orange juice okay and that'll be all medium orange juice and uh oh i'm sorry one moment and two hash browns you need ketchup no thank you thank you first one though 
Thank you. 522. 522. Um, hold on, y'all. Good morning. Good. How are you? <laughs> Look, I'm trying. <laughs> thank you so much. No, thank you. <laughs> um, I guess I do always get four hash browns. So. <laughs> Sweetie. Thank you. Hello. Yes, ma'am. I thought about getting four hash browns too, but I'm like, mm, my stomach a little bit queasy. Let me just go ahead and get the two. But I come here almost every day. I used to come here almost every day. Here you go, baby. Thank you so much. Thank you. You too. I used to come here almost every day and get hash browns. Four hash browns and a medium orange juice. Mm -mm. It'd be so good. I'm a regular here, so. Go ahead and listen to a story time. I don't know about y'all, but the story times that I've been finding so interesting have been the, um, what was it? The hairstylist horror stories. I've been watching those like crazy. Um, like lash tech, like the whole, the tech horror stories, basically. Like lash tech, nail tech, hair stylist horror stories. And then the, girls trip horror stories mm, love it love it so much i just recently got into roommate horror stories but i'm still on the first ones that i mentioned so i'm about to go ahead and listen to a uh, girls trip horror story and oh mm, mm, it's hot too it's so hot i'm about to listen to this story time Oh, I'm about to listen to this story time and I'm going to talk to y'all later. Target and I got my y'all I literally got only what I went in there for I am proud of myself progress but I ended up getting some tampons these are the ones I like to use all of a sudden I feel like my sister had me using these and I just always buy them and then I found a new planner but remember it so hold on I think it's in here so this was the last planner that I had but I went in there and I found this little one and I was trying to compare because they're the same brand but I was trying to compare the two they're both the sage green color they're both July to June so this is perfect and it's so much smaller I mean I'm gonna have to write smaller but I think I think that's perfect and then if I did need something a little bit more for next semester I still have this as backup because obviously I didn't write anything in the last semester for I didn't write anything in the last semester of school in this planner yet so I have this as a backup but I'll be using this one because I just like how small it is and I can really it, it can fit into my purses and stuff some of my purses so I like that I think that's all I have to do for the rest of the day I'm honestly about to go home um make some breakfast and chill out <laughs> Yeah, I'm a chill. I won't lie, by the force of habit, I was thinking, I'm like, oh, let's go ahead and stop at Starbucks. We can get a drink real quick and drive home. But I bought, like, what in the world? Oh. I spent money on, chai tea, on the chai tea that I like to make at home already. So why in the world would I? It's gonna take me 30 minutes to get home. Are you kidding me? But um, yeah, I already spent money on my chai that I make at home. So I'm about to just go ahead and take this 30 minute journey home. Okay, 28 minutes, that's better. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this journey home and I'm just gonna make a chai when I get home because I'm trying to stay disciplined, I'm trying to stay, I'm trying to stay true to myself and save a little bit of money. That would have been such a waste of money if I went on to Starbucks right now. 
Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to Friday night, y'all. It's Friday night and I'm gonna be completely honest. I did not feel like coming back on here to close this vlog out. That's honestly what I'm here to do. I'm here to close this vlog out and my lips are so dry. Hold on. I'm here to go ahead and close this vlog out, y'all. It, it is day five of 75 Soft. And just like I was saying before, I'm still off to a rough start. But you know what? It is what it is. Uh, there's always tomorrow. So we're going to go ahead and push through. It's always tomorrow. We can go ahead and try to start off right tomorrow but again we're gonna see we got 75 days to get this right before we have to go into 75 medium right we're gonna see sitting here right now and y'all already know i got my new planner and i'm just putting all of my um all of the new dates on our new school calendar because we finally got our new school calendar and i'm going to go going on ahead and putting all the dates and tasks and all the things into my calendar so yeah let me see well i have my calendar here the one for august and then you have september october november all the way into december so i'm just go going and putting all of my dates and stuff in and i'm not just putting my school stuff i'm putting like appointments and vacations and stuff like that in my planner so i can go ahead and have that ready to go because y'all i've been having things come up Ooh, did I? okay no i never got that call i've been having things come up and i kid you not i can't schedule anything i can't make any appointments i can't do anything because i do not know my own schedule i need to have my planner so i can be like okay yeah i can do that oh yeah i can do this like today i almost accidentally made an appointment on the 7th when that's my cse that's a four hour test i'm not going to make it to anything else that day so yeah it is it's it's busy busy it's about it for this vlog if you haven't already make sure you at least like the video if you don't want to subscribe at least like it, it help you girl get into the algorithm um but if you did like this video or you liked any of the other content of mine that you see go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i'm going to see you in the next one bye